PhD student at the Chesapeake Biological Lab. I became a scientist by studying oysters in the bay and then crabs. Blue crab are a keystone species. They have a greater impact on the whole food web than you would predict from their biomass or numbers. I am trying to understand how climate change might affect blue crabs in the Chesapeake Bay. We know that the climate is warming and we have global data, but we also have data from the end of the research pier. We have daily temperature data that has been taken since 1938. So we know that actually here at CBL or in the northern part of the bay, the temperature has been rising in the past 80 or so years. A lot of that rise in temperature has been due to the burning of fossil fuels since the Industrial Revolution. It releases CO2 into the air. About 30% of that CO2 gets absorbed by the ocean. That changes the chemistry of the ocean and makes them more acidic. You throw a dirty penny into a, a bottle of soda and it comes out clean. Well, it comes out clean because of the acidity that the dissolved carbon dioxide uh, induces in, in the soda. And at a, a sort of less extreme sense, that's exactly what's happening with ocean acidification. Many organisms in the ocean deposit a mineral called calcium carbonate in shells and in support structures. So we think of oysters and mussels that have a hard outer shell. The deposition of that calcium carbonate into the shell depends critically on the pH. The concerns are that shells may become thinner or animals may grow less fast. We probably don't think enough about the diversity of animals and plants that are affected by it. We wanted to look at how changes in temperature and acidity would affect crabs. I kept little juvenile crabs for about a month in conditions that were either you know, current conditions, sort of as our control, then we had some predicted future conditions in terms of temperature and acidity. In general, the crabs were pretty resilient to changes that we imposed on them. We didn't detect many negative effects of increased acidity. We concluded that temperature is going to be the primary sort of environmental factor that's going to be affecting crabs in the future. A lot of their physiology is temperature dependent. So crabs that live in colder places grow slower compared to crabs like in Florida. Another thing that crabs in the north do is they display overwintering behavior where they go into almost like a dormancy period. But in the south, the crabs don't overwinter. Winter is about you know three and a half or four months. The conservative estimate predicted that winter would last about 90 days in the year 2100. A more aggressive estimate predicted winter would last about 60 days. It's not going to be like Florida here, you know, in the next hundred or so years. But the crab population will most likely be much more active through a longer portion of the year. If we think about crabs growing more needing to eat more food, and they may be targeting these species that are a bit more vulnerable to climate change, that could have implications for the whole Chesapeake Bay food web.